Thanks for tuning in. I'm Karen Lair with a look at the top news headlines for Saturday, September 21st. The Boise State Broncos keep their winning streak alive. More than 36,000 fans showed up to Albertson Stadium Friday night to watch the Broncos take on the Air Force Falcons. BSU won on the blue turf 30 to 19. Quarterback Hank Bachmeyer threw for two touchdowns to CT Thomas and John Bates and Robert Mahone rushed for the team's other two touchdowns. Kikaula Kaniho also caught an interception and the team remains undefeated. We have tremendous respect for Air Force and what they do, how they play, uh, the type of people that they are. So the way that you have to go out there and play is disciplined and tough and you got to believe in what you're doing. The win brings the Broncos to 4-0 on the season and 1-0 in Mountain West play. After a streak of home games, the team will now have a bye week and then hit the road to take on UNLV Saturday, October 5th. The Boise Greenbelt turns 50 years old this year and celebrations continued Saturday at Ann Morrison Park. Families enjoyed a fun run and food truck feasts and a free concert is planned for Saturday night. People are encouraged to bring a blanket, pack a picnic and enjoy a family friendly evening that all starts at 6 o'clock. Meanwhile, in Caldwell Saturday, the 17th annual Indian Creek Festival continued with a full day of events. Saturday's top features include a car cruise, chalk art, and street dancing, but the most highly anticipated events have to be the rubber duck races and creek kayaking. Participants built their own themed boats made only out of cardboard, paint, and duct tape. They have more events planned for this fall, though. On October 19th, the Great Downtown Pumpkin Festival Festival and Boo Bash will take over the plaza with a pumpkin carving contest, pumpkin pie eating contest, and much more. Now, Steve Liebenthal with Beyond Your Side forecast. And no frost on the pumpkin on Saturday morning, but temperatures got a little bit chilly. Might have been the first time of turning on the furnace for many people. Uh, clearing skies resulting in those cool temperatures, but the clear skies resulting in some afternoon sunshine on Saturday. Warming temperatures into the low 70s, still a bit below average. Sunday is the last full day of summer, and a southwesterly flow will warm things up to right around where we expect to be this time of year. So our afternoon high in Boise at 77 degrees. Monday, a bit of a cool down, but still pleasant at 71, 74 for the high on Tuesday. Wednesday afternoon, another storm system starts moving into the picture, really changing things for us. Chance of showers starts on Thursday. By next Saturday, our afternoon highs don't even make it into the 60s. For the latest news headlines and up to the minute forecast, go to sixonyourside.com.